as well as if you hold down shift as you start um, going through here, you can actually snap it to um, a distance. Now you're going to see it kind of stops a little bit before it gets to the end of my uh, stroke there. So if you go to stroke, change your lazy radius down to a smaller number. And then as you use that, it'll go ahead and snap all the way to your cursor. And then you can use snap and uh, lazy snap. This one's a little bit tougher to go ahead and you can hold down shift. If you don't like holding down shift and getting this line, uh, you can tap L, that'll turn lazy mouse off. And now you can just hold down shift and that'll just snap it to, um, you know, hold down shift and go straight up and down. I like to use this one. So let's go out of edit mode. Let's go ahead and grab our trusty cube, make poly mesh 3D, hit W, and we'll go ahead and dynamesh this. So uh, we're going through here and we're chiseling, actually let's just use the standard brush here. So we're going through here and we're sculpting. Uh, if we have lazy mouse turned off by tapping L, you can just turn that off. You can just hold down shift and it'll snap it to a 45 degree angle or up and down or left and right. Uh, if you have lazy mouse turned on and you hold down shift, it'll snap it using these lines. So whichever one you like to use. If you do like using the one without, you can hold down alt and you can hold down shift. If you like using the one without lazy mouse, uh, what you can do is you can hit W, hit Y to go out of gizmo mode, and now you have your transpose line. This is old school ZBrush, uh, but if you want to match an exact line, you can drag a line out. And let's say I want to make a line exactly this way. You can hold down Control, tap this little white end there. It'll move your camera, so you can hit Q, and then hold down Shift, and then you can just move a line right across where that transpose line was. So that's a little trick.